What up, people? It's your boy Chris from Green and Eagle Chick. Why am I saying Chris? It's your boy Chick from Green and Eagle Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. That's right. You're through to the chopping block. Now I know, I know. You're probably expecting different names on there, like, hey, Petter Check and David Ospina. What are you talking about right now? I know a lot of you expected Alex Awobi and I'll come to Alex Awobi, don't you worry. But I did say I would give Alex Awobi the entire World Cup before I, I said my piece on Alex Awobi. And in terms of last night's match, it, some of you have, may have not watched my three minute rant where I reviewed, reviewed the game last night. I was pissed. I am going to lie, I was pissed. But I did say I would let Alex Wobie have the whole World Cup. It may be only two more games, but I ain't going to put his head on the block yet. For the time being, I am going to talk about Petr Cech and David Ospina. Now, I watched an interesting video which uh, Robbie from Arsenal Cat TV did, which was his, um, his usual uh, transfer daily video where he talked about the reasons why he would keep uh, at least one of Petr Cech or David Ospina. I think most Arsenal fans would agree that neither keeper, for whatever reason, are good enough. When you look at Petr Cech, you look at someone who's almost 40 years old, was will go down undoubtedly as one of the Premier League's greatest ever goalkeepers. He just will. You know, for his work that he did at Chelsea, he was fantastic. He was untouchable. He was brilliant in his role at Chelsea. And it was almost unheard of that, you know, awesome. It was incredible that we were even being linked with someone of Petr Cech's calibre in terms of how good he, he, he has been for Chelsea. And the fact that we were linked with a 33-year-old keeper and that Wenger was looking to not only sanction a £10 million um, purchase of a 33-year-old goalkeeper, but also that we were prepared to give him a four-year contract. I mean, I know a lot what a lot of you will, will say now, well, you know, 33-year-old for a goalkeeper is almost like buying a 28-year-old outfit player and I get that um, but as it turned out no we were buying a 33 year old player you see you notice that the things that I'm talking about with Petr Cech are things that he's done in the past and things that um, he did for Chelsea there hasn't been a lot that he's done for Arsenal I think if you wanted to be kind and I think it would be really kind if you said it is that Petr Cech has had days where he has been consistent and there has been event-free. One thing that Liverpool fans, and there's one particular Liverpool fan, is my boy who likes throwing in my face a lot, is that as much as people laugh at Karius, you know Karius has been more consistent than Petr Cech. I bet some of you didn't even know that. Statistically, I know a lot of people like throwing out statistics, particularly when it comes to Meza Ozil, but when it comes to Petr Cech, he has been worse than Karius. This is our supposed number one right now. And I think people are kind of getting twisted that, all right, well, he's had so many years experience and, you know, he's generally seen as this reliable figure based on what he's done for Chelsea. Whereas if you take what he's done alone for Arsenal, it ain't that great. It ain't that spectacular. Yeah, sure, okay. In my opinion, I think Petr Cech's strength is his handling. Um, I think in the past, we've not been blessed with keepers that have been very good with handling. When you really think about it, probably since David Seymour, you know, as much as I love Jens, Jens could have a kind of every now and again. Almuna, I'm not even going to comment. Even if you wanted to go real far, oh, uh, uh, far back, Alex Malinga, remember him? He had a good three, four month spell where he displaced David Seaman and then you never heard from him again. You know why? Because he fell the fuck off. We, we don't have very good luck when it comes to goalkeepers. And we, get, we got Petr Cech and we were blinded by what he had done for Chelsea. 
when some of us should have really been like, okay, but why would Joe say, of all people, sell his supposed prized asset to Arsene Wenger, who at the time was his arch enemy? It didn't make sense until we saw certain games. We saw him play against West Ham. That West Ham game always sticks out as one of those games where I was like, who is this imposter? Because it ain't fucking better check. And they started having this 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 nickname of double agent check. And we started to think to ourselves, damn, we have got some sort of imposter because this is not that this is not better check. This is this is someone else completely. And then coupled with the fact that last summer, in our wisdom, we decided after we sent Chesney out on loan from the last two years, we'd sell him to Juventus. Who thought, who thought to themselves, blimey, all their Christmases came at once, copped a, a, a brilliant goalkeeper in, in Wojciech Chesney for 10 million, and then immediately got rid of Buffon. This is how bad we've been with goalkeepers in the past. And I always said with Chesney that, with Chesney, his number one problem is his concentration. Other than that, the, the man I can see it, is a brilliant goalkeeper. It's just concentration. That after his loan, what I wanted to see was him welcome back and then make him number one and get rid of David Ospina, who I guess, let me come on to David Ospina. David Ospina has someone who, there's a saying that Arsenal fans like saying a lot, and that's someone who's made to live with. To me, he has always been an average goalkeeper. He came with this big reputation when we brought him from Nice. And we thought to ourselves, all right, a Colombian keeper. Now, maybe it's heightest. I don't like goalkeepers under five, under six foot. Not because it, it, it harms their ability or anything, but let's be real here. You need to be a presence in that goal. goal. And with David Ospina, whenever he's in goal, he looks like the smallest guy. He looks shorter than his actual height. I think his height is five six. A 5'6 goalkeeper for a supposed top Premier League club. I'm sorry. That's not what we should be doing. What we should be doing is looking at keepers that first and foremost can command their command their area. Talking to people like Mustafi, who let's face it, needs talking to. Talking to their defenders and organizing that defense. That's something else I would say that 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 Petacek has lost over the years, seemingly. Because our defense is a piece of shit. Now, the argument and the idea behind keeping one of these two is that, oh, well, if you let both of them go, who do you bring in? You bring in better. That's why we have this scouting unit, is it not? That's why we have um, a Sven and his entire scouting network. What are they earning money for? All right, so, okay, you've decided that Leno is the person to supposedly replace one of these two. Why can't you replace both of them? Is Matt Macy good enough? Why not promote him to a number two or possibly number three? Because here's the thing, and here's what I don't think we'll do it. I don't think Martinez is good enough either, by the way. And he's a big man, but I don't think he's good enough. Clearly, because he's not pulled up trees anywhere he's been on loan. And he's a six foot three guy. But with Matt Macy, I actually saw this guy live. He looks like he might be about something. How do we know if we don't try these people out? And if he isn't good enough, then go and scout someone who is good enough. And that's what I don't understand about what we're what we're doing at the moment. We need to go and recruit these, these people. We need to go and find people who are good enough to be able to stand in the sticks. How is every other team able to find a decent goalkeeper? apart from us. All right, so you can't compete and, and buy your, your Allisons and you can't buy your Oblacks. Where were these people, where were these people before these people blew up? Where were our scouting network before they blew up? All right, I, I don't blame Sven for that. But supposedly we had scouts working at the club. Why didn't they identify Oblack before he went to Athletic Why didn't they identify Allison before he went to Rome? These are the things that I want to see us go out and do. And especially if Leno is going to be the number one, 
I want a capable number two of pushing it. Because you guys know I'm not overly enthused about Lennon. Because I know he's had some clangers himself. But at least if you have someone, and we've seen that with Hector over this past close season, if you have someone who's pushing you, you're going to raise your own standards. You're going you're gonna to strive to be better. And for me, we need better, especially when it comes to our entire defensive unit. So for me, yes, it's a big call. Dare I say it's a big gamble. But there's no point having an experienced professional who's not good enough. I'd rather a youngster who is. Call me crazy. Anyway, that's my two cents in the matter. And that's why I would sell both David Ospina and Keta Cech, who apparently is being linked with Napoli and David Ospina being linked with Fenerbahce. You guys let me know what you think. Would you sell that, uh, Petr Cech and David Ospina? I can imagine you won't. I can imagine the idea of letting them both go scares the crap out of you guys. But you guys let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, absolutely crush, destroy, drop kick the shit out of that like button. You know, I appreciate it every time you guys do that. Um, I'm going to be putting out a couple more um, Eagle Eye shows because I know I've been a bit lax with that lately. And people be asking me questions about what I think about certain signings. So I'm going to drop one of those tomorrow, so keep an eye out on that. And I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed so far, who has given me a view so far. You know, I do all this stuff for you, um, and I appreciate the support. I'll also do an England preview, which I will probably drop tomorrow morning. So do check that out. Um, and uh, that's it from me, guys. So you guys let me know what you think. I'm out of here, people. Take care. Peace.